Tennessee for, uh, for a lecture by Thomas C. Reed. Um, he's a, he used to design nuclear weapons, apparently, and um, he, is, he used to be a big player in the national security state. He was in the Ford and Carter administrations. And incidentally, I just found out he was also the, I think, the sixth director of the National Reconnaissance Office. Now, I have seen nuclear detonations. I was in the I designed them. I've been in the Pacific. Nuclear detonations are not a flash like they are in the movie in the window panels. Nuclear detonations are very serious things. My career, I was involved with the Titan missile. Titan missile 54. Titan missiles were stationed in the, in the deserts of Arizona and in rural Arkansas and Kansas, 54. Titan carried a 10 megaton warhead. A 10 megaton warhead detonated on City Hall in Los Angeles produces this result. The dark circle is nothing survives. The, you know, reinforced concrete structures gone. Notice how USC is right there. I'm in That's why I thought I'd get your attention. I guess you need, you need a building fund up here now. But within that dark circle, every, all the structures, everybody's dead, and all the structures are so much gravel. All the lovely buildings here, so much gravel. Uh, that the destruction goes up in Hollywood, it goes um, total destruction. The outer circle is conventional construction uh, buildings, the Los Angeles Airport, all the way up to Burbank, uh, out into the, the eastern part of the city. Those are massive fires, 10 megatons is a very serious thing. It is not trivial. Now, the ter terrorists are not capable of building that. That's very sophisticated science and engineering. But terrorists may well design a five kiloton device. Five kilotons you can get with a very amateurish design. If you once you get the plutonium or the enriched uranium, then you can put it on a truck or a barge or a boat uh, and get enough ammonia and, and other stuff to have high explosives. It is a quarter of the yield of the Nagasaki bomb. Uh, it is, to me as a designer, it's an embarrassingly low-tech device. But the results are not low-tech. Here is a five kiloton device detonated in the Los Angeles Marina. Bad guys put it on a yacht, uh, assembled it in because it's too big to beat the truck or a yacht, uh, flew it into the LA Marina and fired it. This is what goes on. Every, you know, Los Angeles airport, gone. All of uh, you know, Santa Monica on fire. Uh, the, the circles are fallout because they would fire this on the surface, which produces more fallout. It means that uh, you know, from like Baldwin Hills, everybody's dead. As far as the campus here, again, you see USC featured right there. Basically, most of the people here are going to die within a week unless they get out of here or get treatment passed. That's a small terrorist device. That's the sort of thing. It may not happen at the LA Marina. It may be floated up the Hudson River. It may be floated at the Anacostia River in Washington. But the point is, you've got to pay attention because that is a very distinct possibility. Bad guys can do that once they get their hands on fissile materials. Uh, uh, questions, Mr. Lawrence? There's a question right here. Thank you very much. Multiple national security insiders have uh, spoken about the policy coup that took place in the wake of 9 11. And so, with the expertise of this panel, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to ask a question about the role that the inside or interstitial threat of nuclear terror might have played in the 9 11 operation itself. And this is best asked by briefly laying out a series of confluent war games and terror drills that were being run on 9-11, many of them mimetic of what the attacks themselves. Um, first of all, we had these aerial terror games where uh, vigilant warrior, vigilant guardian, live fly hijack drills. We also had the National Reconnaissance Office, of which Mr. Lee, I think you're the sixth director. They were running a drill of a plane flying into the building. quickly there are biochemical terror uh, uh, drills going on outside of uh, Manhattan with FEMA and the Army. And then finally, and this is very uh, pertinent in terms of this panel, there was nuclear terror or warfare drills going on. One of them, Global Guardian, which had to do with STRATCOM and uh, had to do with a, a, a nuclear warfare scenario. And then Operation Jackal Cave, 
uh, which had to do with the, uh, the Department of Energy's secret uh, bomb, a nuclear bomb uh, squad. They were out of the country for the first time in three years to do a drill uh, undoing a device. So the question is, yeah, okay, yeah. Question. okay, the question is, in, in light of all of these mimetic war games, and we know that uh, coups are, operational coups are done under, under cover of drills, what is the relationship of the potential threat of nuclear terrorism to the apparent treason infecting the deep bowels of the national security apparatus? <laughs> I, you know, my response is I'm not familiar with all the, the, uh, the war games that were going on before 9-11, uh, but this, um, the you know, trying to think through how you deal with those things are terribly important. I think that's where I ended up this evening, is that I think uh, an important role for a university like this is to get those discussions out in the open, to have a convocation on what are we going to do uh, when that sort of thing happens? Uh, do the drills and exercises cause the problem? No, I don't think so. Uh, Any one of the medicines cause the diseases. But um, there's a lot of uh, subterranean games, thinking about it, go on. But I think what are we going to do really needs the public ventilation that a university can bring to bear. But you're saying it's a coincidence that all of these games are running on 9-11 that mind what actually happened? Are you saying that? Um, yeah, in the short future, yeah. I don't think they're connected. We have another question over here. Because you have to talk to things. Uh, 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 I mean, come on. But isn't that what America's supposed to be great about America? Put the laundry out there and well, put it in the sunshine and then we fight. But you did, because the question uh, was really about everybody else in the world uh -huh, uh -huh. and getting their minds around something else. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So the question actually was the powerful thing. And that's how, the, how public discourse works. Exactly. It's good. Oh, it's yeah, so because, you know, I mean, if you sat there and asked any politician, like which is that. essentially you know, his answer was. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Real answer. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. So. Well, thank you for letting me ask you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Good evening. How are you doing? Fine. Nice to meet you. Appreciate your questions. All right. <laughs> the, here's, here's the book. Okay. So, and so, did you, have you, written, you never heard of those drills that I mentioned? Um, yeah, I heard of some. But the fact that the drills are connected with the event, no, I don't think so. Um, because those go on, I mean, it's like rain outside. I mean, those drills yeah. are going on all the time. Yeah. I'm sorry, t tell me your name. I'm Jeremy. Jeremy with a J? Yeah. <laughs> Last name? Roth Kuchel, R-O-T-H-E. R-O-T-H-E. E hyphen. Yeah. K-U-S-H-E-L. K-U-S-H-E-L. E okay. Yeah. I mean, because it, it does seem that if, if, if there's going to be like a coup faction of sorts, then they're going to run it through uh, drills because then the Patriots would, would not know what they yeah, were participating in. And it does seem odd. I mean, FEMA showed up in Lower Manhattan the day before 9-11 to set up a triage center uh, on Pier 92 because they, they ended up demolishing Building 7. And you're familiar with all the evidence for the demolitions of the towers in Building 7? Not really. Did you hear about that? They found a trait, because you're experienced in, in advanced weaponry and stuff like that, they found uh, uh, unexploded traces of nanothermite yeah, in fine. multiple the samples of the dust. Really? Yeah. Like yeah. No. Here, I'll no. give that to you. Well, that's that's, I live in California, so that, uh, you know, I live up in Sonoma County. Oh, the ma there's a man called Richard Gage. He's an architect, and he started a group called Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. He says the building's coming down and, you know, seeing that those were demolitions and not fire. Okay. Cause Thank is, you. is like sixth grade physics. So, and then this is the nanothermite paper. This is oh, the really? abstract on it. Okay. Yeah, multiple. Thank you. You're welcome. And so, All what right. do you think we should do once we find out? You know, find out that there's some advanced weaponry in the dust from sure. the trade towers and all. Our fellow citizens being blown up with that stuff. I said I'm not in the what should we do business. I'm too old for all that. I'm a historian that tells you here's what China did and here's the history. Uh, you know, I'm used to reading that to read the history, but what to do about it is that's what we got universities and young guys like you. True, but the oath doesn't die, and yeah, you took it, and so at some point, then the truth becomes the way yeah. to protect yeah. and defend the Constitution, yeah. don't you think? Yeah, yeah. All right. But you also, when you're 75, you kind of focused on dinner tonight, unfortunately. True, but <laughs> right, I'll let you go. I understand that, but one of the men who's sort of pointed out that the official story of 9 11 is completely false is, you know, about your age. Yeah. He's, okay. a, he's a theologian. So, yeah. patriotism doesn't have any. 
That's end true. date, sir. Thank, right, thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Be well. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. See you. How are you tonight? <clears throat> Mr. Reed, can I give you the information that it has all the drills that I was talking yeah, about? Okay. Before. All right, thank you for talking. And see, the other part about it is that they sent all of these key people out of the country, too. Secretary yeah. of State Powell, the NEST crew, uh, a special yeah, counterterrorism crew. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, what are you doing? Are you making a... Yes, yes. Uh, thank you, sir, for your, okay. your time. Yeah. Well, I'm